Alice Walton set in 17th place in this year's Forbes list of the world's millionaires, three places behind M's betting court, but has now taken the top spot as the world's richest woman. The only daughter of Sam Walton, founder of U.S. supermarket giant Walmart, the 67-year-old American has an estimated net worth of $33.8 billion. However, unlike her brothers, she has moved away from the family company and focused on the arts. Jacqueline Mars the 77-year-old owns a third of the world's largest confectioner, the other two-thirds were split between her brothers until Forrest Jr.'s death last year. She worked for the family firm for almost 20 years and stayed on the board up until 2016. Now she is described as a philanthropist, sitting on boards for the Washington National Opera and the National Archives, among others. Maria Franca Fislo the first European on the list, this Italian is the widow of Michelle Ferrero, of Ferrero Roche fame. The company, which also makes Nutella, Kinder and Tic Tacs, is now run by her son Giovanni. But she spends her time living in Monaco. Suzanne Clatton the second Ian on the list. This 55-year-old German has a mixture of cars and pharmaceuticals to thank for her wealth. She inherited 50% of chemical company Altna AG when her parents died, while she and her brother also own almost 50% of BMW. She has since taken Altna private, making it all hers, as well as buying up stakes in a number of other companies, from wind power to graphite production, ensuring her spot on the list. Laureen Powell jobs back to the U.S. for the fifth spot, or 40th in the world, and we have the widow of Apple co-founder Steve Jobs. The 53-year-old started the Emerson Collective, which pushes causes on social reform and environmental issues. She also co-founded College Track, which helps disadvantaged students get into further education. As well as her 0.7% share in Apple. She also owns 4% of Disney. 